Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at drawing graphs in such a way that the edges of those graphs don't cross one another. We'll look at two standard examples here. First is on the left a K4. It's going to be a K4 which is a complete graph on four vertices and every vertex has to be connected to every other vertex. So we can draw, we can start drawing these edges in various ways. And we have one more vertex, one more edge to connect, and that's where we connect the top left to the bottom right. We can't draw it straight across because we'd cross, but we can easily avoid that. So this is what's called a planar embedding of a K4. And for that reason, since there is one, K4, a K4 is a planar graph. Over on the left, we see a K33. So it's a complete bipartite graph on three and three vertices. In this graph, every vertex on the top tier has to be connected to every vertex on the bottom tier. And we can try to do that. There's a lot of ways to do it. So at this stage, if you look what's missing, look at what's missing. Uh, the top left vertex is not connected to the bottom right. We can do that this way. But the last remaining edge is the one that would connect the top right to the bottom left. And you can see that the bottom, the top right is enclosed within edges so that you can't reach the bottom left. And no matter how you try this, you, you can't embed the graph in the plane so that it's planar, it doesn't have any crossing of edges. This problem of embedding a K33 in the plane so that no edges cross is often called the three utilities puzzle. But now, if you don't constrain yourself to just a plane, it can be solved. Here's how you do it. First of all, let's go ahead and repeat our, our attempt. I'm gonna follow more or less the same strategy as far as connecting edges. the same stage as before, C can't connect to gas without closing off B from water and vice versa. But, as I said, if we constrain ourselves to a plane, we can't do it. But what if we're on a torus? Better known as a donut or a bagel. At this point, we can connect C to gas by going around the torus this way. And then B gets connected to water this way. Notice that we're not crossing over here. This is this is not right here is not a cross because the dotted line is on the other side. So this is an embedding of a K33 onto a torus. So nice thing about mathematics is 
you can bend the rules and often solve a problem in one context, whereas you couldn't do it in another. So that's it.